Hi everyone, this is Sehri Shakil from AI Sciences. Topic of our video today is about the most underrated library of Python, which is PySpell Checker. This library is going to be helpful for the beginners to use it and to take their advantage. So what is the agenda of our video? We'll start with the installation and importing of this library. We'll explore the PySpell Checker library, and then we'll develop a small application using this library. If you are new here into this channel, then you can see in the description box, link of the website is given. You can subscribe to our channel also to see the more amazing videos. And in the description box in our website, you can find more courses related to AI and data sciences. So let's begin with our application. <laughs> In my uh, web chrome, I have used this Collab browser. In the browser, I have written Collab, which is uh, my Python application. And here I'm going to write my code. First of all, what I need to do that I have to install this PySpell Checker library. As in my uh, PC, I've already installed it. So when I'm writing this command, for me, it is showing me the message that already requirements are satisfied. For you as the beginner, when you will write it, then you, your PySpell checker library will be imported. So what you need to write, that you have to write this magic keyword, then the pip keyword for taking the library, and then the install and PySpell checker. And then after it, you need to run this play button. This is going to run the command. Okay, now in the next cell, what I'm going to do, that I'm going to import my library then i'm going to write the new method from it from spell checker i'm going to importing spell checker method and then in my new cell i'm going to put this as my object object is being created I have run the commands one by one also then for what I need to do with misspelled word so if any word is not going to be identified by my defined list so how it is going to treat it? This co command will tell us about that. So this I'm going to define a list where I'm using the words as welcome, then to, then AI. Wait, I forgot to put quotation. Yes, here we go. And the last one I'm putting as sciences. Okay, so this list I have defined with four words, welcome to AI sciences. Then in the new cell, what I am going to do, that uh, this I am taking all underscore words. This is taking my list where all these words are going to be inserted. So I am just copying these words. because I'm defining this list and this is my list created and then I'm going to run it so let's see what it is doing spell checker is being imported object created and now which word is misspelled see here Oh, I forgot to put the wrong spelling for welcome. Let's see, I'm defining this wrong spelling here. Again running. See, my welcome is wrong, uh, misspelled. So from this list, it is identifying that this word welcome is not spelled according to my list. Okay, now what I'm going to do, 
that I'm going to write a loop that all the word in this list misspelled yes I'm going to print my correct word let's run it okay. this is learning phase for me also as a beginner I forgot to put the block sign in Java mostly we put the brackets and here we need to put this colon see now it's correct now when we run it so welcome has come that it has auto uh, corrected the word which was misspelled so this welcome spellings are being corrected automatically now, one more amazing feature is that here it can provide us all the um, suggestions also like in word we need we know if you're writing any spellings wrong then it tells us that what can be the other spellings for this word so here uh, with this library we can use this also that it will provide us all the suggestions which can be used so again I'm writing a, a loop that for all the words and misspelled it is going to print the spelling spell of all options which I am going to call the method of candidates of this given word which is being misspelled and again I forgot to put colon yeah you need to put this colon don't forget so I am writing oh what's the error now let me see yes my spellings were wrong here which I need to correct now I'm running so here it is showing me the message that here for this word only welcome welcome no suggestion is coming as welcome okay what I'm going I'm going to write another loop while loop that till my while will be true then what I need what I'm doing that I'm using this variable word and I'm taking the input I'm taking the input of the word then I'm checking that if my word is in the spell then print okay the string it will take this I'm defining my string is spelled correctly and then I am using the method of format for giving using this uh, string to convert into that uh, proper form okay and else what I am doing okay for beginners we, we should know that uh, in uh, Python what we are uh, having this syntax that uh, if our block is starting then we need to put the indent here like tab one tab or eight spaces it is tracking the block as this uh, in, uh, from the indentation okay otherwise it is taking that correct underscore word equal to spell dot correction it is correcting the word of my this past object and then printing I'm going to copy for saving my time I'm going to copy this then it is printing that the best suggestion suggestion for 
okay here this will come at the end my string it is going to take the string of object it will come at the end for is and then I'm defining my string again this one and then using the format method okay okay so in else I, uh, what I did that uh, I said that it is going to take this word and it is going to correct it and this correct word list will come in correct underscore word and then my message will come that the best suggestion for this provided list which came earlier is this new list and this new list is coming from this method where it is taking the word and it is providing the correct word let's see it is running or not so if I am writing uh, welcome with Velco so it is saying the best suggestion for Velco is Welch okay let's do again welcome without e so for it the best suggestion is welcome let's say sign the best suggestion for sign is cyan so see these are the amazing features of this uh, spell checker library so it is providing us the correct spelling and it is providing us the best suggestions like uh, in word we have this feature to auto correct the spelling to have the minim, uh, correct spellings of our word we can use this video so at the end i'd like to thank you and for your time and if you have any uh, comment please write in the comment box if you want to learn more from ours then also suggest us that what can be helpful for you we'll come up with those kind of videos so thank you for your time bye bye for the night now see you inshallah in the next video with uh, some kind of amazing topic in the python bye Thank <laughs> you.